okay to do that we use g signal connect okay uh, this is uh, use g not gtk although i don't really want to go into the difference but uh, it simply mean that these are not in the GTK library this is the glib library I think so but this really don't have to know about uh, really don't have to know that you could program so yeah this is just the theory okay this requires four parameters w uh, the first is uh <coughs> actually uh, before I go into the parameters I would like to explain what does it do so G signal connect is actually connect to a signal to a function. So uh, as you can see, after you go to the GTK main, this is a main function. This is an endless loop, uh, which can be exited with GTK main quit uh, function. Okay, the GTK main will uh, care about all of the uh, signal connect. So, for example, if I click this button. Um, dialog came in actually in this case not because i already uh, saved it but it would be a dialog came in if you if i would press this uh, open uh, button so to make it with gtk actually these are these are make gtk and because it's open source you can see the actual source code uh, first you want to define what do you want to uh, listen some signal so for example, in this case, I want to listen the window, okay, and then I want to uh, listen to the data event, okay. Uh, you should uh, actually you have to use this uh, string literal here as as a data event. So there are a lot of types of, of events. Now I just only want to show you this one event. This happens when the user press the X button here. Okay, then uh, you use the what function do you want to call? But actually, not th just uh, so simple. You have to use a macro to convert it. So, g uh, callback. This is the name of the macro, as I should mention already the macro is usually written in capital letters so everyone know that these are macros uh yeah and the name of the function you want to call uh you want to call when this uh, event happens with this uh, uh widget okay um we want to call the gtk main quit uh, function okay and now the third parameter is uh, what do you want to give to that this function okay this doesn't make sense for right now uh, we will make our own callback function but for now we press simple null it simple mean we want do we don't want to press uh, we, we don't want to put uh, anything to this the gtk main quit function because it's need, need not require any parameter okay now you have to make the window visible in normal circumstances uh, whenever you create something it is invisible uh, similarly to the uh, to the anchor refresh function uh, it's wait for uh, you do anything change you want you give uh, the all of the widgets to it you change the title color and everything you want and the end of the program you always should make it uh, visible S to make it you use a function called gtk widget show and actually if you have more widget you use the l but for now we just use the gtk widget show and we press uh, and we put what uh, what do we want to make visible in this case we want to make uh, the window visible okay and I think let me go over the program. Okay, this is the delta event. So if I, uh, I press the uh, delta key, it will close the program. Okay. Uh, I think we do everything that we need. Oh, bad button. Now we can compile the program. 
to compile the program we use G G++ uh, as we do uh, earlier uh, <coughs> we give what do we want obviously so actually first I should go to the correct location now we can compile the program so this is the first dot cpp if I wrong well and uh, no, don't make output slider a dot out is perfect for us and you use a backtick if you have ever programmed with the bash you should be familiar with the, this backtick although this is a very little thing uh, I don't know that you can see it my keyboard is, is it is the LGR uh, plus 7 probably not yours okay uh, this is a backtick there is a for a for thing then this looks something different so it is simple mean this backtick so it is not just uh, a simple quotation mark not a for is thing so yeah uh, yes it is a backtick okay uh, so uh, this simple means that uh, it the bash uh, so the terminal will run uh, whatever in here and put the, the result of that run to here uh, to back here so as you may remember we use this pkg config uh, c, uh, c flags gtk uh, plus dash 2.0 and it will result this as you can see and with this backtick we put this entire thing here uh, without type so pkg config we use the libs and uh, gtk 2.0 uh, plus uh, what? no gtk plus dash 2.0 I think so okay and uh, you close the backtick and then you open another backtick uh, and you uh, write the pkg config or oh config uh, G, uh, we now want to see flags uh, it will give that what is uh, highlighted right now okay and gtk plus uh, dash 2.0 okay I hope this will work alright okay it seems that it's work now uh, start the program okay uh, it is not disappeared here it is disappeared outside of my screen recorder but don't worry about I get it here okay this is created a default window so a dot out this is the title there is no icon here and I think it is 400 by 400 or something like this uh, by the way the 400 is mm, ah, no, I don't know uh, something like that so this is the default size we can uh, change it later okay probably I am out of time very badly so I have to uh, make it uh, over now uh, but as you can see we can use the close window and as you can see it closes as it the as if there would be no G signal connect the uh, window would disappear but the program would not exit you have to terminate it with control C okay uh, I think that I should go over the program and uh, maybe I will uh, uh, cut it free part or something okay first we include the gtk slash gtk dot age so yeah uh, if you would want to uh, just uh, call the gtk dot age then go to your uh, input fold uh, include folder I think this is uh, that's in the usr slash uh, uh, slash uh, include I think then get the uh, everything from GTK and put the put uh, everything inside the GTK uh, things and put everything back uh, folder back so then you have to just include the GTK dot H 
and not really matter which one do you prefer uh, usually this is the original one, this is how everybody loves to do it, so do it this way. Okay, uh, the main function is only different, then we use these uh, command line arguments, as I uh, said, although um, the GTK will not do much with it, because, uh, you know, we don't give any command line arguments, so it mostly just uh, a requirement, we don't really have to use that. Okay, the GTK init will require this two parameter. By the way, uh, within the GTK, uh, you should uh, call all of your GTK functions and everything inside the GTK init and GTK main. You shouldn't call any GTK function before the GTK init or after the GTK main. I think it is clear. It is enclosed. It, it is similar than anchor says init scr and delwin. So you shouldn't call anything uh, other than okay. Uh, then we define a variable. This is the GTK widget, and uh, uh, yeah, it is called window, but it could be anything. It could be a GTK image. A GTK button or GTK anything so yeah it's really just uh, just could be anything uh, that this is could be anything this is uh, uh, because uh, we use uh, inheritance a uh, comp uh, ho a huge inheritance in the GTK uh, library actually not we use it uh, who made it uh, use it so the entire thing is a, a big inheritance, so we can cast it later with uh, to anything. Okay, then we create the actual window with GTK window new. And usually we want to give the GTK window top level, uh, almost always you want to give this. Uh, but uh, the GTK child and anything w will be automatic, so yeah you should always give the GTK window top level. This is mean that this is an independent window, as you can see, it's top level. Okay, there is the G signal connect. Uh, if something happens, actually this happens with this widget, then we call this, uh, th simple, as simple as that, and we give as a parameter the this. Uh, in this case, we don't give anything. So if somebody click the X button on the window, then we call the GTK main quit uh, function, which is a building function, the and it will exit from the program. So it will exit from the GTK main. This is mean that. Okay. Now because our window is not visible. Uh, right now, we have to use the GTK widget show. Alright, by the way, uh, you should uh, almost always uh, use this GTK widget show uh, before the main, so the GTK main. Okay, and that was the simple program, and with it we created a simple window. By the way, I plan to end of this uh, tutorial series which will be a little uh, more longer than anchors that I want to make into more details because I think that GTK is more important than anchors uh, with anchors you can do menus and old stylish games and so on but with uh, GTK you can do anything in graphical so you can make a, a terminal or I don't know uh, so anything actually okay and so the end of the series uh, I plan to make a graphical user interface for our Sudoku solver program as you may remember we uh, write it earlier and I should say that don't delete the source code I don't know did I and uh, and yeah we will make a graphical user interface so it is much simple for new users and actually we create a graphical user interface we actually create the complete the whole program so a useful program maybe I, I don't know I don't think so anyone would use it uh, just for test purposes 